Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Sorry for all the glare on this canvas, but I wanted to give you just a quick look at it before I actually start doing my um, my whip and chat. Just wanted to give you, you know, the general overview of it. But there it is. She's just gorgeous. This is a Dreamer Design piece. It's called Twilight Flight. It is by Alan uh, Gianna. Hope I pronounced that right. 60 by 60. Okay, so hang on a second and I am going to put you back in the phone holder and I will be right back. Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, I've repositioned the painting. I'm actually going to be painting along the side. This is actually the upper right quadrant and I'm going to move down toward the bottom of it. Um, it's just going to be easier for me to be painting in a portrait mode versus a landscape on my table. It's just going to be easier that way. Not to say that I'm not going to end up painting um, in the landscape mode, but this is just how I'm starting. Um, I don't always start in the um, bottom left of the uh, painting, but I always start on the right hand side and work left. Um, so I'm so excited to start this painting. I am so excited. I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to start this painting. Um, I had to work a little bit longer yesterday and um, I'm about ready to head out to church uh, in a little bit, but I thought I could get a whip and chat in. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start with a few of these Ys. We're gonna be doing this green color. Hang on a second, let me get you some light so you can see this. There, oop, I'm knocking stuff off my table. Goodness, knock down the power strip. I've been doing rounds for a while. I haven't been doing squares, so this is gonna be a nice change. I like squares. I tend only to do squares in uh, premium companies. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Whoops. Let me just show you these pretty drills. They are sparkly. I know my light's not the best. I'm filming it at night. But trust me, they're sparkly. Dreamer Designs makes a beautiful, beautiful canvas. And I was gonna show you my trick that I do, because again, I'm not always painting in the correct, um, like right side up. I paint upside down, paint sideways, but I turn my drill to the orientation that I'm painting so that I don't mix up, so I don't mix them up because my Ys actually look like this from the side. So I kind of keep that out and just for me to reference. And then I also find, this is my trick. I like one of these little guys and I just put it along the edge of the painting so that I can keep um, the edges nice and straight. I try to do my edges all first. There's the first drill. Oh, so excited. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this painting. Oh, second drill down. It's very sticky. In fact, when I'm looking at the painting, this glue layer is so shiny and so thick. Um, it's a gorgeous glue layer. Now, sometimes when you are painting, especially in the beginning with squares, they're not always perfectly straight, but they do straighten out. And I also like to, um, I lay the drills down in a checkerboard manner. And that is just like exactly what it sounds like. Um, you put them every other square or every other, and then you fill in in between. And that helps to keep the squares um, straight. So I'm just doing a little checkerboard pant pattern. Guess I should make you a little bit tighter. Um, 
I don't know if you want to watch this or not, or if you're just going to listen. Oh, be still my heart. I'm so happy. I am so happy. I do have to keep an eye on the time, too, because I'm going to be leaving for church in a little bit. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. I think I'll just do a checkerboard it's all the way across. It's always hard to say, you know, where you start on a painting. Sometimes you just start. But this is where I'm starting. I think if part of it was, I think this is an easier spot for filming as opposed to just maybe in the corner. Um, I may have started truly in the corner if you guys weren't watching, but it doesn't really matter. This is where I'm starting. Um, I am using, I don't know where I got this pen. Um, I don't know if it was from Timu or Amazon, but I'm using it and some purple wax. Although I was watching um, Lazy Retired Granny and she has tried, I hope I remember the name right, Nano Nano Tape. I think that's what she called it. It's actually like a washable tape that it makes it sticky again. And she had real good luck with it. So um, I ordered some on Amazon and I'm gonna give it a try. Because I have tried glue dots. I do like glue dots, but um, sometimes they're too sticky. I'm always working to get them not so sticky. I don't know. I just I've had really good luck with the purple wax. That's what I tend. That's what I tend to always go back to. But I thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. And I'll give it a try. And um, well, it is cold tonight again. I think we're gonna be in the twenties. I tell you, this glue layer is so thick. I catch it out of the corner of my eye and I think it's the cover sheet and I'm wanting to lift up the cover sheet. And Oh yeah, there you can kind of, can you see? Can you see that shininess? That's the glue layer. Isn't that phenomenal? Dreamer Designs does an awesome job with their canvases. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, I know. I think some creators have talked about this, but um, kind of impacted me the other day, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, random acts of kindness. Um, I was in line at McDonald's. Yes, I know I shouldn't be eating at McDonald's. Um, but I had ordered my food. Um, and when I got up to pay for it, they said, um, the person ahead paid for it. You don't owe anything. And I thought, wow, that was really, really nice. Cause I was already kind of having maybe not the best day in the world. Um, and just that someone, you know, spent a few dollars, you know, on me just, and they didn't even know me or anything, but I just thought that was really nice. And I started thinking about it that um, we all just need to be really kind to each other. Um, and it doesn't need, you don't need to spend money necessarily. Um, it can be a smile. It could be telling a clerk in the store that they did a good job or, or you know, something like that. Because, you know, clerks in retail, especially right now around the holidays, man, they get beaten up pretty bad. Um, People are angry and um, they're not always nice to them, you know? So I think a smile, a kind word um, can go a long way. So do something nice for somebody. Smile at them, say hi. You know, if you have the means, you know, buy them the car behind you at McDonald's or a coffee or you know whatever but if you don't like I said you don't have to spend money 
to do nice random acts of kindness. It could be writing um, a card to somebody that you haven't seen for a while or an email or, oh, I don't know. You guys probably have more ideas than I do, really. But that was kind of my, my, my rant for the day. Um, I do really, though, try when there's been somebody that, um, you know, a worker in a store that has done a really good job, I really thank them and tell them, you know, they did really good customer service or I really appreciated the help they gave me or, you know, whatever. Um, it just goes a long way. So do something nice for somebody. That's my encouraging word for the day. Because I have you know, quite a few friends here on, on, in YouTube land and I always love to hear from them and they always brighten my day. I love this community. I really do. And it's so cool that I've gotten a few people into diamond painting that I didn't think necessarily would. It's really kind of kind of cool. Um, my niece has finished several paintings that are absolutely gorgeous and some off the canvas stuff. And my other really close friend, um, she's doing a rooster right now, and I think if it's not done, it's got to be pretty pretty close. I know that she was pretty close to it. I'm trying to get my sister to do it, but she thinks that it would make her more nervous. I said, I don't know. It makes it, re you're, you get relaxed. At least I find it relaxing. I don't know, maybe somebody would, would find it, um, I don't know, not relaxing. But I think, oh, I'm gonna do some more. I think I'm gonna try to get this edge done. Let's see if I can. Oh, boy, the edge on the glue is, re it is really sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. And what I really like about Dreamer Designs too, I, I don't know if all the companies do it, but I'm just noticing this. I'm gonna bring you in really close, really quick. I've gotta move this, hang on a second. Can you see the edge? So there's the um, drills don't go just straight to the edge and then the white. They do have a little bit of um, the color there. I thought that was cool. I like that. I'll bring you back out. There we go. Hope I didn't make you seasick. Um. And this is, I don't know if I mentioned it, maybe I did. I just get all excited when I when I work on this canvas or when I even see it. I'm just so happy. This is one of these canvases that I know I'm not going to want it to end. I know I didn't necessarily need to start another whip. Um, I need to finish Gypsy Violet. I am so close. I need to concentrate on it. Um, but I just had to start this one. I think you've probably all had paintings or projects that are like that, where you just really, really liked it. I guess I could understand why somebody has, you know, 10 whips going on because they really like all the projects. There we go. We're getting there. First few drills. First few drills. It'll be fun when I can get into um, all the colors. But this tree will be good to, to do too. 
there's a, um, I know that I'm single placing for the moment because I tend to do that in whip and chats just because it's easier for me to talk and do this as opposed to multi-placing. And I guess maybe I got to concentrate more when I multi-place. Um, oops. Let's see if I can at least get that one straight. I don't know where I was going to go with that thought now. Went right out my head. So I'll think of another squirrel thought. And I'm trying to think of one. My mind went blank. Well, I am still waiting for my Diamond Art Club paintings to come from Black Friday. I don't know why it takes forever for Diamond Art Club to get here. But, I, but I don't know why. So I'm excited to share them with you. Are you uh, working on any more um, Christmas whips? I need, I mean, I know I did my um, cozy Christmas evening, but I think I need to start something else too. Well, okay, here we go. This isn't going to be a real long whip and chat. I'm sorry, I can't make it probably my usual, you know, a half hour or so because um, I do have to get ready to leave. Um, but I had to hop on at least for a few minutes to do a little bit so I can say that I've started this. Um, and I think when I get home, I will work on it a little bit more because that will be fun. And then um, I will edit and get this uploaded. Oh, I did solve my uploading problem. Um, you know, I told you that sometimes it would take like forever to upload. Um, and I had what I thought was pretty fast internet speed, um, which I did on a download speed. I mean, it was good, um, but on the upload speed, it was really um, pretty slow. So I upgraded my internet to the faster, the faster internet. I've got better upload speeds and it's not taking me as long. So I'm really happy with that. So that solved that. Cause I think a, I don't know, like a 15 or a 20 minute video, which used to take me, it could be like an hour to upload, you know, might take 12 or 15 minutes. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fast now, which that makes it nice. Cause when they take a long time, it gets, it's a little frustrating, you know, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, get these back in the bottle. This is kind of a dark, dark army green or dark olive green. This next green I'm gonna work on is a little bit brighter. I know you can't see the colors very well because of the light. Oh, there, that's a little bit better, I guess. Um, but it really is brighter in person. It's just because I'm filming at night. And these are, this is my little corner piece Looks like a little, oh, come on, can you focus? Drives me crazy when this isn't, there we go. And actually you can see the color better there. So we'll do a few more of these. I'm so glad I got this painting. I'm so excited for it. And Lazy Retired Granny, I'm looking forward to getting the that uh, nano tape. 
hope it works. If it doesn't, it's coming off of Amazon, so I can return it if it doesn't work, which makes it good. Do you hear those little clicks? Yeah, when you're doing squares, it's so satisfying to hear the little click. I've kind of missed working on squares. I'm a little slower at them though because I really am trying to make them straighter. But it's always hard in the beginning because they always look kind of like in a mishmash. It's not till you really get a section of it going that it, it's good. Well, okay, everybody, again, I know this is gonna be a short whip and chat and my apologies for that, um, but I've got to run. Um, so take care. Um, happy diamond painting and happy crafting, but I did wanna hop on so that you knew that I at least had gotten this started um, and I'll do more whip and chats and um, show you share my progress more with you guys and thank you so much for supporting my channel um, I so appreciate it you guys are all amazing um, you take care remember you're perfect exactly as you are and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing okay I'll catch you on the next one guys thank you bye bye